Hello. So, um, just a brief talk today. We're, uh, just a brief talk. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm having one of those days. I'm having one of those days. Not feeling very grateful today. And I, you know, um, uh, working with the addict and the alcoholic is, is, it, uh, it's not, it's not easy. It's not for the faint of heart. It really isn't. And, and uh, um, you know, uh, they, uh, yeah. So I'm just having one of those days, and where, um, you know, I've got a fella that uh, I'm working with, and and uh, you know, the crazy thinking comes back in, and. And, and you and just can't get past it, you know. Sometimes there's just these moments of lucidity with the alcoholic and the addict when things have gone really bad and and they see that, you know, that they're in trouble and and uh, uh, and so, you know, uh, for those brief moments we can kind of get through and work with them and, and, uh, and then it just, it so often happens that you know a couple of weeks go by or a couple of months go by and and uh, and, and uh, it's like <sighs> ego moves in and says hey I'm, I got this I got this you know and often we get kind of halfway through the steps and uh, so you know often the, sometimes the, the people in the world the regular folks say gee the, these steps don't have a great success ratio, and, and uh, well, they do actually. They have a hundred percent success when people do them, and uh, you know when they and and they adopt um, humility and honesty and open-mindedness, you know, and, and and we're often defeated. The alcoholic is defeated by belligerent denial, and and uh, so the the front-end worker, the front line worker you know whether they're paid or whether they're volunteer like myself um we're there to support people even when they're in denial even when they're when they're you know um arrogant and and uh, when the arrogance moves in and, and uh, we're here we're still here to support but sometimes it gets to be um it's hard you know because they die and i just posted a you know a little thing that a friend had on her Facebook page about that, and I'm going to read it. Uh, it says, one thing you never want to do, one thing you never want to do is watch someone you love who has fought so hard to beat addiction, throw everything away and sink back into a life that will most likely lead to jail or death. You want to grab them and shake them and scream, what are you doing? But at some point you realize that it won't make a difference. So you sit back and watch the tragedy unfold as if you're watching a movie, feeling helpless to stop it. Feeling like you haven't done enough to help, even though you know only the addict can help themselves. Battling addiction is a beast for the person addicted and for the ones who love them. So I'm asking you to stand with me in prayer for every family member, loved one and friend who has lost or is losing their battle with drugs and alcohol. And for those who continue to conquer it, but, and then she that says, put this on your page. Anyway, um, that's the deal, you know. So just having one of those days, it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Um, you know, if, you're, if you are an addict and an alcoholic and you're new in recovery or, you know, or you're, even if you're sober 20 years, and you think, well, I don't need to help others. I don't need to uh, to do my daily practices. Um, just remember that this is the, the that it's a mental illness, and it's uh, cunning, baffling, and powerful. It sneaks up on us, and the next thing you know, we're back in in addiction in some form, some form. I mean, many of us in, who have. Uh, uh, alcohol and drug addictions also have uh, other, we're addicted, you know, sex addictions, there's gambling, there's, there's all kinds of things that we also uh, 
uh, you know, kind of constitute a slip, and then when that comes or happens, we're 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 um, we're on the way out. So just be watch that, you know. It, uh, um, yeah, just keep your eye on that and and, and uh, reach out if you're in that place. You reach out to me if you like. Uh, uh, I spent some of my years, I've been in recovery for 40 years, and, and some of those years uh, when I wasn't really active, or as active as I could have been, and, 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 and uh, got dangerously uh, taken in by ego and desire, you know, thinking that I would only be whole if I was had a certain level of success or whatever, so we can drift away from, you know, our spiritually based life, and, uh, um, and we get screwed. <laughs> you know, yeah. Anyway, love you guys, and, and uh, um, that's the battle. They call it a battle, I don't know, but anyway, just having having a bit of a day. So I think we read yesterday from the. I'm still reading from from the Tao Te Ching every day, and, and uh, um, and I think I'm on uh, number twenty three. Uh, again, it's only about three paragraphs. It says, express yourself completely, then keep quiet. Be like the forces of nature. No, I, I read this yesterday. Hmm, I read that 23, so let's go to 24. Ha! Chapter 24, it's only two paragraphs. He who stands on tiptoe doesn't stand firm. He who rushes ahead doesn't go far. He who tries to shine dims his own light. He who defines himself can't know who he really is. He who has power over others can't empower himself. He who clings to his work will create nothing that endures. You want to accord with the Tao, just do your job, then let go. <laughs> That's a message for me. Just do my job and then let go. Okay. That's beautiful. That's it. <laughs> I guess that's what I needed to hear. If you want to accord with the Tao, just do your job, then let go. Hmm. Thank you guys, love you so much. Um, yeah, reach out if you if you ever want to chat and uh, yeah. Thanks.